How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot Horizon 4 once again. We have another new exclusive Forzlan car, which as you all know, I love to review them, show you the fastest way to get enough points to get them, and seeing what they're like. Today it is the Gymkhana 10 Ford Focus RS Hoonigan. Now we already have one of these in the game, but this is technically a version 2 version of it, a new updated livery, and it is available in the Forzlan shop. So if you come to this video to see how to get it, it's in the Forzlan shop. However, we're going to do the weekly challenge, which gives us 100 Forzlan points, or 200 with VIP which will allow us to unlock this car very quickly and we're going to have a blast in it see what it's like so we need 200 Forzathon points which as long as you have VIP you can do the Forzathon weekly challenge and you will instantly unlock it now, as I said last week and the week before and the week before I highly recommend you do these while you have the chance for example last week we could get the new KTM GT4 this car right here, which is honestly one of the best Forzalon cars we have ever had. It is an absolute monster. And if you didn't follow my video from last week, you are no longer able to actually get this car at all, unless it's from the auction house. And I can tell you now, they will be very expensive. So do this challenge while you can and unlock this brand new Gymkhana 10 Ford Focus RS V2 Hoonigan. We saw that the first Forzalon challenge was to own a Rally Monster car. So simply go to your car list, check Rally Monsters, and pick a car that you want to do all these challenges in. As soon as you get in your Rally Monster car, go to the track. You will see it will unlock the first challenge. After that, the second challenge in this is to get 20 Ultimate Drift or Ultimate E-Drift skills in your Rally Monster. This one's very simple. I like to do it at this part of the map here. So if you fast travel over here to just to the left of the city, there's some quite nice bends which you can get some very easy... Um, ultimate drift skills on. Now I feel like I need to say this, the reason I do these videos, although they're very self-explanatory, there are quite a lot of people I've noticed that, that are either young or they just struggle to unlock these cars themselves because they don't really understand the four stones very well. So this video is for most of you that really just struggle to do challenges yourself. So as you saw we need to get 20 ultimate drift skills, whether they're e-drift or normal drift, it doesn't matter. We're getting a high powered thing and just hold the handbrake down and just drift. You need to keep the drift going for quite a while or it won't turn into an ultimate. As you can see I got an ultimate there. Basically the longer the drift the higher skill chain thing you will get and you need to get all the way up to ultimate which is the highest one. You'll see that it will go e-drift, great e-drift, awesome e-drift and then ultimate e-drift. You need to keep that drift going until you get an ultimate e-drift 20 times. Now you can do what I just did then and kind of just slither along the road, don't even go around a corner, but just kind of stay in a drift. You have to be going pretty fast for it to work, it is doable, and uh, there, that might be another one I think, awesome e-drift. Once the second challenge is done, you can move on to the third one straight away, which is a lot easier, which means put your Rally Monster car through its paces and earn a total of 15 stars from speed zones. You don't have to do three stars on this one, three stars on another. You can just do three stars, three stars, three stars over and over again on the same speed zone. Or not three stars, just any amount of stars. Now, I would recommend doing this one right here. I find this one fairly easy. It's called Croft. Now, as I said, just get a total of 15 cars in your Rally Monster car and you'll complete it in a jiffy. You only need to do this one at 105 miles an hour to get three stars, which in a Rally Monster car isn't very hard as long as you start from the right side. There we go, straight through we did 111, very easy. Keep doing that till you get 15 total stars. Okay, I've done 12 stars so far, all I need to do is get another three and it will tot up to 15 and complete the challenge. Coming up on the finish now, this is a very easy one to get three stars on in my opinion. Straight through, 112 miles an hour, and that will be the third Forzalon challenge complete. Should pop up at the bottom of the screen somewhere. Should pop up, there it is. The fourth challenge is win three dirt racing series events in the Rally Monsters car. And it sounds quite annoying having to do three races in this car. It can take quite a while. However, I've got you backed up. Have a look at this. If you add my account on your Xbox, which can be seen in the top left hand corner, JKXVXYT, then come to the game, go to any danger sign or something, go to this one for example, go to view leaderboard and try to find my name. I should be on here somewhere because you added me. Once you've found me, click on me, go to View Creative Hub, go to Blueprints Events Shared, 
and then try to find one which is called 10 second DRS. It will look like this and when you found it, click on it, pick your rally monster car and this is a race which takes 10 seconds to complete and you're guaranteed to win. So just do this race three times which will take you, I don't know, a couple of minutes and there you go, you'll have your fourth challenge complete. I'll show you right now, as soon as you click start race event, you'll see that you just have to go down here, all the driver tiles will try to turn off to the left as you can see, and you can just keep going through the second checkpoint, through the third checkpoint, which I nearly missed, and then finish the race in as of 15 seconds that took. So just replay this race three times and you will unlock the fourth challenge very quickly. If you're having trouble finding it, go down to this Dirt Racing Series race down here at the bottom left hand side of the map. Go to Enter Event, go to Solo, go to Custom Events and you should find mine somewhere, possibly on Friends and Followed if you have me added. Um, or as I said, do it the other way and just play that three times. Oh, I've been disconnected. And there we go, fourth challenge complete. All done correctly, if you have VIP you will then have enough points to go and unlock the brand new Forzathon car which again I recommend you highly do. If you don't have VIP then you'll need to do a couple of daily challenges or Forzathon lives but the 100 Forzathon points will easily put you towards the next car. And here we go, we now have the Gymkhana 10. So now what we're going to do, take a look at the upgrades in it, have a little drive in it and see what it's like. So let's fast travel to the festival and have a ganders of what this car has. Doesn't seem like there's many special car masteries, which is fine. And I'm presuming it's going to have similar upgrades to the other one, but those rims are pretty cool. Those look well nice. I'm going to increase the size of them quite a bit, because may, may as well. You can engine swap it. I did not expect that. And we can also make it rear-wheel drive if we want, but no. So there's not a massive amount of upgrades, but you don't need them. It's a really cool car either way. So let's have a blast around in this car. Now, I'll say again, guys, please do this Forzathon challenge and get this car while you can. Because you never know, someday you might fancy it, someday you might need it. And you won't have it, and it won't be available in the Forzathon shop anymore. Which will be a real bummer, because this car, it's a lot of fun. And if you didn't have a chance to get the other Gymkhana 9 Ford Focus RS, now's your chance to get something even better than that, the Gymkhana 10. I'll admit I'm not that interested in rallying or cars like this, however, it's certainly a very different car to drive. It's a very controllable, very fast all-wheel drive car that can also drift very easily as well, despite being all-wheel drive. It's just quite a different car that even if you're not interested in it, I recommend doing while you can. Please, please, please. So yeah guys, hope this little video has helped you out if you're struggling with it. I know lots of people do, which is why I do videos like this. But in the meantime guys, we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. We are so close, so please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content just like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh yeah!